Hi there. Recently I wrote a review of Fritz Heiler's Carrera BE bookshelf speakers and I posted it on a couple of audio forums in which I participate. I thought it would be fun to mention a few things from that review along with some images and some videos I took of the speakers. So here goes. So Fritz's Carrera BE speakers are two-way vented stand mount monitors. They measure 16 inches in height by 9 inches in width and 12 inches in depth and they feel really solid at 30 pounds each. They have a frequency response of 36 hertz to 40,000 kilohertz and an impedance of 8 ohms and a sensitivity of 87 decibels. They have two excellent drivers, a 7-inch paper cone scan speak revelator and an SB Acoustics Satori Beryllium Dome Tweeter. On the back, there are quality binding posts and an ample base port. So, the thing about Fritz is he's really a master with speakers crossovers. His designs feature an acoustic reality serial crossover without any resistors or capacitors in the circuit with the dome tweeter. And Fritz has devoted a lot of time doing trial and error to make the frequency handoff between the drivers as seamless as possible. And to my ear, Fritz's speakers accomplish this brilliantly. There really is a musician behind his speaker design. So before talking about how they sound, it's worth mentioning that Fritz's crossover designs allow them to be really well driven with a variety of different amps. They have a listed recommended power that runs as low as 8 watts and goes up to 200 watts RMS without clipping. To my ears, they sounded excellent with solid state. I tried them with all tube and with a hybrid of tube and solid state amps. I used a 60 watt Quicksilver tube amp and I used an Atoll 120 watt solid state amplifier. I talked with Fritz and he told me that these speakers can perform as well with 8 watts on a 300B amp because of the simple efficiency of the series crossover design. And I think if you look around and see some other reviews of Fritz's speakers, you'll see a variety of different people reporting this as well. So what this means for the average person is that sensitivity and impedance of speakers, at least in Fritz's case, do not tell the whole story. If you have a lower powered amp, including a tube amp, these may be very musical alternatives for you. So I spent about six weeks with the Carreras and I put a detailed write-up at the Audiogon forum and you can read it there if you like. So today I just want to relay a few key impressions. About the placement of the speakers, well, it's not extremely fussy. I found them to work best for me in my space at about eight feet apart from one another and then another eight feet away from where I was listening. Now, as far as listening goes, the speakers did everything well. Complicated music or complex musical passages are often tricky for speakers to sort out. I think the career has always found the right balance between blending sounds, but also keeping instruments and voices separated with a little bit of air around them. The ability of the speakers to draw out a wide, deep, and well-articulated soundstage was also a standout feature of the Carreras. It's easy to imagine imaging of different instruments and people and even the, the live scene behind the speakers as well as from left to right. There was one memorable tune in this regard, and that's Limehouse Blues. This is a tune in which you really feel as if you're in the room with the musicians. There's a xylophone solo that just sparkles and dances like Christmas ornaments, and I could really visualize the mallets moving from left to right in front of me. And there were other pieces too, where there'd be a drum solo, and you could actually visualize the exact location of different drums in the drum kit, a foot, two feet away from one another. Really remarkable. The dynamic response of the speakers was also excellent. The speakers give a balanced response at lower volumes and also at higher volumes. In terms of transients, classical music pieces can often move from whisper quiet to booming loud, pianos as well. The speakers were quite able to do this, and the piano really sounded like the dynamic percussion instrument that it is. And let's not forget about classic rock. These speakers were really able to rock out. The Who, Led Zeppelin, and other tunes really helped me peel some paint off the old basement walls. It was excellent. So let's talk a little bit about bass extension and definition on the Carreras. They're really excellent down to the low end, and I don't think they require a subwoofer. The string bass notes had weight and body, they didn't have bloat, and each pluck had nice clarity, nice timbre, 
and I like the way the speakers could convey the kick of a bass drum as well. Very realistic, very exciting. The speaker's mid-range, I think, is best described with the word honest. Instruments always sound like themselves, vocals sound intimate. There's a person present in the room singing in any well-made recording. Saxophones, trumpets, clarinets, they always sounded like themselves, and even the character of each horn came through the speakers. Finally, I think the biggest difference maker for me was the treble in the Carreras. These beryllium tweeters are really special, and the speaker delivers highs with a nice sparkle and definition. Cymbals, flutes, sopranos, percussion, guitars, orchestral strings, they all come across as defined, accurate, and crisp, but not rolled off. They're clear, but without being, well, sharp or too aggressive. I've looked for this in other metal tweeters and in some ribbon tweeters, but the drivers and the Carreras are a perfect balance. So to sum up then, the Carreras are musical, they're effortless to listen to. Often I'd sit and listen for an hour and find that two hours had gone by. I never felt fatigued, always absorbed, always moved by the music, whether I was listening at low, medium, or higher volumes. And while yes, these are two-way box speakers, once they're positioned correctly, which is not that hard, they really disappear from the scene and they create a rich field full of musical events. So I think that the Fritz Carrera speakers represent a good value. They're sold directly, mostly, and so there's no dealer or distributor cut and they can be tried at home. These are definitely worth consideration, even with speakers at twice the price. Anyway, that's the end of the review. I hope it was worthwhile for you and I hope you enjoyed listening. And I hope you go check out some Fritz speakers if you're in the market.